All right, got leg day today, very exciting. Check in with the leaves, still there. Dump truck, still chilling, has not made any progress. Tire, uh, yeah, it's probably gonna stay there for now. All right, time to check the weight, Let's see what we got. It's a little earlier, maybe than a typical leg day, but same amount of food consumed, so whatever the weight is should be relatively accurate. Ooh, 0.4. That's all time, all time new territory. Let's double check. Excellent. All right, day 87, body weight 202.4. Super excited about that. That's an all time PR. Um, I think it was 202.2. Two was the previous high and I actually hit that yesterday again that was a that was a maintain so it's only 0.2 pounds but I'm still excited about it uh, workout of the day workout for the day not workout of the day but workout for the day 365 on the squats um, we got seven last week so hopefully on to new territory there seven was an all-time PR so even if I get seven again or even eight that would be epic um, I like to do it a little bit a little bit faster pace than last time my, my breathing was off and I was kind of Going a little too slow, so hopefully a little faster this time. Um, then on to some front squats and some calves. All right, so back squats complete. Very happy with the result. 365, we hit eight. Um, I have never done more than seven, which was last week, with um, with the high bar squats. I think I did a crappy 365 for like eight to 10 or something low bar, but it wasn't wasn't full depth, wasn't a real squat, it was more of a lower back, obviously low bar. Um, so this is a true squat, felt really solid. Um, mostly I was excited about the, the pace with which I did one to six. Um, if you saw last week's video, then you saw it, it took me a while to get, like I think I did the first three moderately quick and then I slowed down a lot. This time I was able to get the first six done relatively quickly and then took a little time for seven, a little longer for eight. Just want to make sure I, I locked it in. Didn't want to drop it obviously because I don't have, I don't have safety. I just have to drop it on the ground. So we are not doing that. Um, so yeah, moving in the right direction. Probably going to work with 365 until I can hit 12 reps. And then maybe try and snag some some other 45s because I only have three for each side. And yes, I could use the uh, 35 and the 10, but I think it'll look cooler. So anyway, that's the plan. Path to 405 for 10. Probably not by the end of the year, but definitely for reps by the end of the year. All right, on to the front squats. All right, on to front squats here. I'm gonna do a little lighter, beltless. Um, Trying to get like eight to ten here with the 225. I don't recommend doing front squats with a thicker barbell because it's gonna try and roll off your shoulders a little more, but I don't really feel like switching over to the regular barbell, so I'm gonna stick with this one. This is the squat specific um, that one of my friends gave me a while back. Um, and it can hold like up to 800 pounds. Obviously, I'm not gonna need to hold that much, but it's just nice to know it's not gonna bend. <sighs> Good, enough chip chatter.
right, so front squats complete, 225, felt solid. Um, calf raises, I'll do another couple sets of single leg, but trying to figure out a way to, I don't know, do some better calf training. Um, you know, I got a home gym set up, so I can't fit a ridiculous amount of equipment, but if anybody out there in the YouTube world has any ideas with regards to that, ways to do homemade equipment, stuff like that, um, yeah, I definitely appreciate it. Um, I do have another shed space that I was thinking about making into like a strongman slash accessory spot. Um, so got a little space there, but I wouldn't put anything super nice because it's probably gonna rust. Um, so yeah, that is that. So yeah, calf training is moderate right now. Like it to be better. Uh, but now we're on to forearms. I'm not gonna show you the calf stuff because that's just single leg up and down, boring. All right. All right, so I'm gonna do, come on up here, a um, forearm curl using the firmer carry here because it's a fat grip. It's like two inches. What is that? Squirrel? That's yeah, just squirrel eating something. Um, we're out in the woods here, so you never know. Pretty bear. Lion tiger. No, it's just squirrel. Um, anyways, so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this because it's a fat grip, so it should activate or be more challenging at least. I want to go throwing around scientific terms, but it'll be tougher basically is what I'm trying to say. Try and get maybe 20 depending on how challenging it is. Then I'll superset this with some reverse forearm curl. Gonna go slow, otherwise the weights kind of rotate and help you. No, I lost count, so. 10 more. Right. And a reverse curl, reverse curl. Hold, please. I'm gonna go thumb over the top. Very important, in my opinion. Stretch down. Don't need a lot of weight for these. At least I don't. Uh, especially after doing it right after. I'm sorry, after doing it as part of a superset, you know, immediately after. Another forearm workout. Just burn these out as many as I can get. Well, you stay away from the house and the cars. You can be friends. That was very solid. So, because of the um, thicker grip, had a lot more forearm activation. Normally, I feel those more on my wrists because I have to use a little more weight. Um, those did not have to use as much weight, so it felt super solid. So, I'm probably going to incorporate those. Um, these were like $50 on Amazon. Um, I got them because I want to do former carries, um, which if you've been watching the, you know, watching the series, then you know I've been doing those for the past couple weeks. Um, but I think they're also going to double as a good forearm workout. The Fat Grip Extremes, wherever they're at, those are great. Um, but they're almost, they're, they're too thick for forearm specific movements. So I can do like curls and stuff with them um, and like trying to pick up weight and whatnot, but I can't do actual wrist flexion extension with them. They're too, too thick for that. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the story there. Thank you again so much for the support. We are closing on 900 followers, which is super exciting. After that, only 100 more, get to 1,000. Um, so going in the right direction, appreciate the support. Tomorrow we got chest and back, which should be super exciting. Um, and hopefully we'll keep the weight above 200, um, but we shall see Monday, it's always different. All right, peace.